Hi, in this video we will create a rib for the angle bracket. Firstly, create a sketch on the YZ plane. Select these edges using the control key and then click the Project 3D Elements tool. You should see these yellow lines. These are new lines in the plane projected from the line selected just now. Next, create a line here and add two circles to the left of the intersection between the line and the plates. Dimension the radius of the circles as 6. After that, constrain the circles to the line with a tangent constraint. The location where you click on the circles for the tangent constraint affects which side of the line the circle is on. Carry on with three more tangency constraints like this. Next, we will need to position the centre of the circle to the plate edge using a distance constraint. Trim the sketch to form a closed rib profile. It is very important to trim the adjacent lines to each other to form a closed profile, otherwise you cannot pad the sketch if the profile is open. Now we have finished sketching, exit the sketch workbench. Select the pad tool and dimension the first limit as 37. Then click Preview. Notice the pad extends 37mm away from the centre. Put the second limit as negative 28 and click OK. You can see that the pad no longer extends from the centre, but if you put a positive 28 as a second limit, the pad will extend by 28 in the other direction. Rename this pad to Support Rib A. After this, select Support Rib A in the tree and click the Mirror tool. Select the YZ plane to mirror the rib around and click OK. This will form a second support rib that is identical to the first one. Now select the two internal edges here and fillet them using the edge fillet tool. Next we will need to fill the gap between the support ribs. Create a sketch on the YZ plane and project 3D elements on these using existing geometries. Then create a new line. Afterwards, trim the line to make a closed profile. Dimension this with a value of 9. Exit the workbench creating a pad using the Up to Plane option. Select one inner face and use More to select the other face. Here is the result. Now, let's rename the parts that we have created. We need to rename the second support to Support Rib B, as well as the in-between support as Rib Support Fill-in. There you have it, a completed rib section. See you in the next video.